Good evening. The municipality of Cumberland in Nova Scotia is looking for proposals for policing services. The municipality is considering replacing the RCMP. CTV late anchor Stephanie Sikos has been looking into this. She joins us in the newsroom now with more. And Steph, what can you tell us about this? Todd, a special meeting was held today lasting all of eight minutes where council unanimously approved the search. While today's meeting was fast, the process actually began a year ago. Last April, the municipality agreed to a review of policing services options following concerns of visibility and response times. A committee was then tasked with reviewing police, the community's needs, and potential options, which involved hearing from residents, officials, and the RCMP themselves. Ultimately, the committee recommended council issue a request for proposals for municipal policing services. That was approved today. The deadline for submissions is May 19th. The municipality is expecting at least a few proposals, one of which will come from the current police force, the RCMP. In a statement to CTV News, Assistant Commissioner Dennis Daly said, The RCMP, our members and our employees have the knowledge, equipment and training to serve the county with exceptional policing services. And they have deep personal, family and social connections within the community. And Todd, this isn't the first Nova Scotia community which has conducted a review of its police services. Colchester County, which includes Portapic, began a review to examine its contract with the RCMP. The review is now complete, but those findings have not yet been made public. However, they are expected to be shared at a meeting later this month. The recently released final report from the Mass Casualty Commission laid out several recommendations on how policing in rural communities can be improved. Todd. All right, Stephanie Sikos in the newsroom with us this evening. Of course, you'll have your late newscast at 1130. Thank you, Stephanie.